Brothers and sisters, as we come to the table, if you have not at this time prepared elements, I would encourage you to take a moment to do so. There is nothing magical about the elements that we use. Uh, some simple bread of any kind that you may have around is perfectly acceptable. And uh, juice is perfectly acceptable, whatever you may have. I know it may seem odd, but if you have not prepared um, beforehand and all you have in the house is Kool-Aid, that is totally fine. The symbolism of the grape juice is beautiful and wonderful, but it is not going to magically make something happen just because it is grape juice or wine or, or whatever. So if you're not ready, just pause the video for a moment and take a moment and find uh, those elements, whatever elements that you may have on hand, uh, and then come back together and we will do communion together. Brothers and sisters, let us join together in the service of communion. I invite you to join along with the words as they are on your screen. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right for us to give thanks and praise. Let us pray. With joy we praise you, gracious God, for you have created heaven and earth, made us in your image, and kept covenant with us even when we fell into sin. We give you thanks for Jesus Christ, our Lord, who by his life, death, and resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. Therefore, we join our voices with all the saints and angels and the whole creation to proclaim the glory of your name. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, we give thanks to God, the Father, that our Savior, Jesus Christ, before he suffered, gave us this memorial of his sacrifice until he comes again. At his last supper, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke the bread and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For whenever we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, we proclaim our faith as signed and sealed in this sacrament. Join with me. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Let us pray. Lord our God, Send your Holy Spirit so that this bread and cup may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. May we and all your saints be united with Christ, and may we remain faithful in hope and love. Gather your whole church, O Lord, into the glory of your kingdom. We pray in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Congregation of our Lord Jesus Christ, God has prepared this table for all who love him and trust in him alone for his salvation. Children, if they have talked with their parents, are welcome to participate 
uh, there in, in this feast as they are able to express age-appropriate uh, understanding of who God is and what Jesus has done for them. All who are truly sorry for their sins, who sincerely believe in the Lord Jesus as their Savior, and who desire to live in obedience to him as Lord, are now invited to come with gladness to the table of the Lord. The gifts of God for the people of God. Brothers and sisters, take, eat, remember, and believe that the body of our Lord Jesus Christ was given for the forgiveness of all our sins. Brothers and sisters, take, drink, remember, and believe that the blood of Jesus was poured out for the complete forgiveness of all our sins. Praise the Lord. O oh, my soul, praise the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who heals all your diseases. He lifts us up out of the pit, and his praises, no one can fill the praises that he deserves, for he deserves all praise and honor and glory for all eternity. Let us praise the Lord together.